Lords and ladies, welcome back. You've seen me beat up this git, but he wasn't a real opponent. In fact, this iteration of Capon is one of the easiest opponents in the game. Of course, he's this way on purpose so that you have a chance of winning against him in the arena. I want a real challenge. I know I've just woke up from a coma one days ago, and the game still thinks I'm a village lad who has absolutely no right winning fights. But I'm going to enter the arena to show that I'm the best fister in all the land. Problem is, I'm going in with four vitality. This means if I am low in stamina, I can die from a single chain of attacks. I can't be reckless like how I was in my previous life when I had 20 vitality. My fisting must be done methodically, carefully, patiently. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. What's your name? I'm Henry, from Scallets. I'll make a note of that. And I need to know what weapon you choose. My goddamned fists. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. First opponent's the Rate Scribe's apprentice. This guy's a very easy opponent and I'm not too scared of him because he has low warfare and doesn't proc many combos. All I need to do is to not overdo it, run out of stamina and have him hit me. Because stamina is a force field in this game. It basically powers your armor. If you're out of stamina, you'll start taking health damage. And on hardcore with hemophilia, a hit could turn into a bleed which puts me on a timer I cannot beat. I managed to corner him and chain punch, whittling him down to zero stamina. Four vitality means that I play with a very short stack, so I need to back out. But with four vitality, the math is kind of even. I pretty much damage myself stamina-wise with every punch I throw. If I ever fall to zero stamina and try to attack, my tempo would break and my opponent would squeeze in and attack in that gap. And I repeat the pattern of attacks against this guy. Push him to a corner and then start pounding till he calls me daddy. I desperately need more vitality, so I'm going to grind jump this post. All right, second round, he has a shield now. You can clip your punches through shields, but you have to be at a very weird distance where the game may decide to auto unlock you. You do not want to be auto unlocked. If that happens, enemies gain free attacks on you because you cannot perfect block while you are auto unlocked. There are weird times when the game will auto unlock you and it's very frustrating when it happens. It may happen if either you or your opponent clip through something, including each other. If your opponent loses track and switches from combat into normal running mode, or if you stray too far at the wrong speed, or look away. Yikes, what the hell? I've taken so many hits that my short stamina stack is now even shorter. Good thing I haven't bled. I don't have enough stamina to pin him in a corner and consistently pound him now. Damn it, I got auto unlocked because he went into walking mode and I clipped through him. So the game did not register my perfect block. It's a good thing his own stamina is so low that he's doing less damage to me. Okay, he's now in a corner. You can see that I can switch from elbowing to throwing punches at will. The trick is to flick your mouse a little to the right or left to switch from elbowing to punch. Punches require distance, and that little bit of distance stops you from using the grab-clinch animation and starts striking instead. Now the reason I want him in this corner is because of how the combat system works. Every attack in this game is met with a preset response. If I attack a guy with a sword, dice is rolled and added to my warfare against his defense. If I win, my attack succeeds and lands. If he wins, he plays out a preset animation either blocking, dodging or master striking. Can you guess what the preset animation of a weapon guy defending against a fist guy is? There's only one! The only defensive response a weapon guy has against fist is to dodge. And you can't dodge forward. So if you trap him in a corner, he cannot use his only defense to dislodge your chain of punches. Ha 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 ha! And now you can't master strike or chain attack with a punch, but there is something you can do to interrupt an enemy's attack and that is to land your punch before your enemies. This will cancel your target's attack. Technically, this works with all weapons, and enemies can do it to you too. But this is especially important skill when you're feisting. It's one of the few ways to make up for having no master strikes nor combos. Damn it, I think several of those punches hit the shield instead of clip through it and hit the person. Shields are so irritating to get through. It has so much durability and can block an incredible amount of damage from your fists against a stronger opponent, I would be in huge trouble wasting stamina on punching shields. Fuck! For Christ's sakes! 
What happened there was that I was too close to the edge of the arena. Punches require a lot of space to throw. I don't know why, but it feels like it requires as much space as a long sword. Your sides must be clear of obstacles, otherwise the game will cancel your inputs and you'll stand there like an idiot, opening you up to hits. Okay, I am almost dead now. I played this so badly. From the start, I tried to get up close quicker by using the unlock cheese, but it only works well if you have a long weapon. My reward for trying that was free hits to my face. This is now a desperate battle. Your turn. Desperate. Yes. Oh! My stamina is so low that I can't keep up with my punches. My vitality is so low that my recharge rate is way lower than my punching rate. So within that gap, this guy here gets to land a hit. The both of us are down to our last slither of health. This could go either way. I need to get back to a regular pattern of beats, but shorter beats. I see, he gets me again. This one's bullshit. My attack should have hit his face, but the game didn't register it. The game ate up my punch. Okay, I'm going to try and get him to waste his stamina by missing, then go in for the kill. God, just go down, you limey cunt. I meant Hun. You know, like that Attila guy from Hungary where the Cumans came from, presumably. OMG, just surrender already. How many hits can you take? You're Jake the Stake, not Jake the Tank Engine. Finally. Jesus. Curva. Christ. I need to find a better way to deal with opponents with shields. And therefore, agility makes it very difficult to overpower shields.